using the application menu. The application menu on the top left hand side of the screen has a large number of options. The first, page, has two choices, open a new window and copy link to page. The first option, open a new window, pops out the page in a brand new window. This allows me to have that one open in the foreground and I can select a different page to view and have the two open at the same time if I use Alt Tab. If I repeat this, I can have multiple windows side by side for quick comparisons. The other option under page is copy link to page. This will give me a link now stored in memory and if I go to Microsoft Word for example and paste it in, I will have a direct link back to this page that I can click. If I paste the link into Word, this is now a clickable hyperlink. I can use control and click the link. In this case, the security warning notice is fine because I trust the program and it takes me directly to that page in a new window. On the application menu, the print and send section allows me to handle the page I'm currently viewing in a number of ways. So in this case, the items list page, I can email it, export it to Word. The keyboard shortcut for this is Ctrl and W. I can export it to Excel. The keyboard shortcut for that is Ctrl and E, or I can print the page. Here I'm going to use the export to Word option using either Ctrl and W or print and send and then choose export to Word. It opens up this dialog box and I can choose either to open it up directly in Word or save it as a Word file. I'm going to choose to open and I now have my items page available in Word. The set work date option allows me to choose the dates that I'm working in the program in. So if I choose the drop down, set myself to the 5th of January, say OK, and the date down here bottom left has now updated to the 5th of January. Other options here include select language. Here if my installation of NAV has other languages available, I can choose them from this drop down. Here at the moment I have just two variants of the English language available. If I choose Select Server, it will check the connection details that I have. If I say OK, it has the same effect as reloading the program. Shuts down and remakes the connection to the server and then we're back in. Select Company, just the same as at the bottom left of my screen where it says Kronos UK Limited. Both of these allow me to choose which company I'm working in. This is useful if I have more than one company in my setup. Here I only have one company available, but I would see a list to choose from if I did have others available. I would then say OK and be able to work within that company. I can do this from both the application menu and by double clicking the company name on the bottom left of my screen. Set work date I can also do from both the application menu or by double clicking the date bottom left of the screen. Customize gives me a whole range of options to change and personalize particularly the look and feel of the page that I'm currently working on. I can personalize different aspects of it. These personalizations will take effect for myself only. They will not affect anybody else's role center. So I can change the ribbon. I can add tabs. I can remove tabs and alter the actions that are on those tabs. I can change the page. In this case, adding and removing items from my role center page. And the same with the navigation pane. Here I can add and remove menus. I can also undo or reset the settings that I have changed. If I choose Customize Ribbon, I have the options of adding tabs and actions and changing the display order. If I choose Customize This Page, it's referring to my role center page at the moment. It shows me I have two parts on the left and four parts on the right. And I can choose to move these around the screen. So put my notifications on the left hand side and move it up. When I say OK, it's now reconfigured my role center page. Customize this page will also allow me to add more parts and remove parts. So for example, if I don't wish to use my items, I can remove it, say OK to update things, and my items has now been removed from my role center page. If you wish to restore the default settings of the page that you've just changed, this can be done by going back to customize, choose customize this page, and restore defaults. 
it shows me the new default configuration and when I say OK, it will apply it to my raw center. Things are now back to the original positions. Back on Customize, if I look at Customize the Navigation pane, here I see the three menu buttons and the lists or menu that each button gives me. Within that menu, if I want to change the order, for example, to make customers appear further up the list, I can move that up. Same for items. And I can remove things from the list. So for example, if we don't use sales quotes, I can click that and say remove from the list. When I hit OK, this will update my menu on the left. Sales quotes will go and customers and items will move up. Yes, I want to restart to see these changes. And there we go. Customers and items are now at the top and sales quotes have been removed. If I choose to reset these settings, I have a number of choices to reset the user interface, decisions I have made regarding automation and how the program handles certain files. If I choose help, there is a general help within the program and also the about this page option. You can get to this by control, alt and F1. And this is also known as zooming on a page. If for example, I choose the customers list page and then if I go to help about this page, then it gives me information about the page I'm currently viewing of a more technical nature. So the page number within the system, the main table it's pulling information from, in this case, the customer table, table number 18, and the various fields that it's pulling information from on that table and potentially from other tables. The about option will give me version and license details. And finally, the exit option will close the program.